So guys, in today's video, I'll be giving you guys my top 5 characters who should return on The Flash Season 9. So if that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. Yo what is going on guys, Flashverse here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 9. So yeah, as we already know, The Flash Season 9 is the final season of the show consisting of 13 episodes and for a final season obviously comes a wish list, which without a doubt would consist of some fan favorite returning characters us fans would love to see. Kind of like what Arrow did with their final season, they found a very creative and interesting way to bring some familiar faces back and it was a huge success. And there is no doubt that The Flash will be doing the same thing with some returning characters. Eric Wallace, the showrunner for the show, has expressed multiple times that he'd love to bring back some old faces, in particular Zoom and Savitar. And then also comes characters who are confirmed to return next season. This has been seen through the Earth Prime comic, which confirmed the return of Bloodwork and Cisco for The Fly Season 9. And then comes a fan's wish list in regards to characters we should hope to see for this final season and just characters we would want to see in general. So yeah, in today's video, I'll be doing exactly that and giving you guys my top 5 list of characters that must return on The Fly Season 9. And I will not be counting those who are confirmed to return. These are just characters I want to see who are not confirmed. But before I go over anything, however, you guys, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you are aware of more Arrowverse content coming your way. Okay, so heading into number 5 spot, I put Mia Queen, aka the Green Arrow. Now, this will be a surprising one to most people. However, I do feel that this should be a character that we should see, as they did not tie up the loose ends in Armageddon with her storyline, which was when she last appeared. In fact, the storyline was still continuing where Iris got a lead that could help Mia find William. So maybe we could have a journalist arc with Iris and her teaming up with Mia, and they go chase this lead maybe, and we could just have them both teaming up in general, just catching leads, trying to find where William is. And this is to just tie up the loose ends from Green Arrow and the Canaries and pretty much wrap it up because we know that we're not going to be seeing a continuation from that story. And I do realize that it's not the Flash's job to wrap up this character's arc as the Flash is on its final season, so I do understand that. But... Again, it would be pretty cool to see it just, you know, tying up the loose ends, I guess. And it would be really cool to see Mia again as well. We could even see her team up with Barry as well. That would be pretty cool. I don't know. But Catherine McNamara is down to return as she has expressed on social media. So will we see it happen? I guess we will have to wait and see. Now heading into number four spot, I have Matt Letcher's Reverse Flash. So I put this at number 4 spot because it's a pretty generic one, it's not like the others I have on the list going forward, which would be more insane to see. But I still included Eobarton aka the Reverse Flash as this is a character that must return, there is no, like, a possibility. This is a character that must return, the story will make absolutely no sense without the Reverse Flash being included in it in some way shape or form, whether that be in one of the interlude episodes of the season if we do get interludes, or him being the final main villain for the final graphic novel, and bear in mind this should be a younger version of Eobard Thawne, one that has not lived through the events of seasons 1 to 8, so pretty much a reverse Flash that just figured out the identity of the Flash and having just established a rivalry with the Flash. And the reason why this is so crucial is not only because he is the Flash's arch enemy, but also we need him to murder Nora Allen and we need to like get to that stage. And in order to get to that stage, we need a fresh new Eobarton that's much younger than any of the versions of Reverse Flash we've seen before and one that only just finds out that Barry Allen is the Flash so that he's able to go back in time and do what he must. So the Reverse Flash must be a character that should return for the final season, otherwise the whole storyline behind Nora Allen's murder as well as the rest of the events leading up to season 1 and beyond will make no sense. But going into number 3 spot, I put Kid Flash. Now, I really want to see Wally West return so bad because he was such a great character, especially this newer characterization Eric Wallace gave him when he last appeared on season 6. 
he had some new traits and really cool abilities which would be really cool to see more of obviously i would love to see him interact with not only barry one last time but obviously with bart and nora as well and also he has been a speedster that we haven't seen in so long Obviously, Eric Wallace has expressed multiple times in interviews how he tried to bring Wally West back. This was for the past two seasons, but it was not possible. And he did express in a recent interview that he is going to do his best to bring Wally back for the final season, which I personally think is a very likely thing considering that this is the last season of the show. So there is no better time than now to bring Wally back. And hopefully, Kanan Lonsdale is available to do it. But number two spot, I have Zoom. Now, I don't really need to explain this, this is a character so many people want to see return. It's been teased last season with the Godspeed article we saw in episode 15. Eric Wallace's favorite villain is Zoom and he has expressed multiple times that he's trying to make it work. I can't remember if this is true, I believe he said he's found a way to make it work, he just needs to include it in the storyline. I don't know if that's true, I remember something like that but maybe I'm just mixing stuff up. But yeah, he also mentioned that he wants nothing more than to see Zoom back on the show again and since this is the final season, I would say we have a very good chance of seeing Zoom return as he is definitely a fan favorite speedster. I would definitely love to see Zoom return and I'm sure a lot of you guys would love to see him as well. They could make it work through and into the episode as I don't see how they'd be able to fit him into a main storyline. But it would be really insane seeing Zoom back and I do think that it is a very high possibility as well. But number one spot, this will not come as a surprise for most people who know me, but I have Oliver Queen aka the Green Arrow aka the Spectre. Now I don't care how they do this, whether it be a simple cameo through a flashback or just an appearance as the Spectre, it could even be with Oliver Queen just pep talking Barry. Or even it could be a time travel scene slash episode where we see Barry going back in time and comes across Oliver Queen as the Green Arrow. I don't care how they do it, but both ways would just be insane. But this is a character that must return for me. Oliver Queen is my favorite Arrowverse character ever. I would want nothing more than to see him back. Obviously his interactions with Barry is always a highlight. Their bromance is so good and we just need to see it one last time. The most likely way this would happen is through Oliver being the Spectre. I think a time travel episode would be unnecessary considering that it's 13 episodes this season. So wasting a whole episode with just Barry and Oliver would, would not really be the best option. So it will probably be with Oliver as the Spectre popping up once, maybe even teaming up with Barry in a fight but taking place in present day and we could get this really sweet interaction between them and I think it would be really cool. But personally, I think that Oliver Queen should definitely return as he is the father of the Arrowverse and the Arrowverse is ending with The Flash's ninth season as there are no Arrowverse shows after that or so far at least we might get some Flash spin-offs, I don't know. But so far, the Arrowverse is ending with The Flash Season 9. I know you could argue that Stargirl is Arrowverse, but it's not really been confirmed yet. So I'm just going to say it's ending with The Flash. So we need the one that started it all being in an episode with the show that ends it all, in my opinion. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. Be sure to tell me in the comment section down below if there are any characters you would like to see return. For The Flash's final season, I'm interested to see your thoughts towards all of it as well. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.